Nah, but real talk, hair hair don't bother me, yo. As long as you clean, real so talk, hair don't bother me. I can eat a hairy pussy. Would you be able to fuck with him because his booty, his booty hairy? Nah, nah, K9, me and K9, we not, we not compatible. Cause one look at K9, I would be like, nah, yo. If anything, that would be like my bro war time. He's just too feminine looking. He don't look feminine to me. Too feminine looking for me. Like I can just know that. You said what? Yeah, I feel like real talk. I would take him to a family cookout, and they would be like, "Who is this faggy?" And I can't get clocked. I get clocked enough by my family, y'all. Y'all would give me straight up clock. <laughs> See, Leah, I could take you to the. I could take you to the cookout, and I could be like, "Y'all, this is my girlfriend," and it would be like, "Oh my so god, you own she is beautiful." Own. But like, I take somebody. I take like somebody like Shayla. My my baby cousin's is gonna tap me on the shoulder, be like, "Yo, is that a man? Is that a man, big cuz?" I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, little cuz." I'm gonna just tell your family the truth. Knows. What's up, nothing sweet? Yeah, but they still homophobic. They just like me. My family don't fuck with the faggy shit. Like real talk, if if they were if some gays was walking on the street and we was walking on one side. My uncles would pull out their gun and really like threaten some niggas like walk across the street, yo. And they would walk across. So do you feel like you're always gonna be hot sexual or are you gonna like, it's like a, ever um, like be just cause most of I feel like most of the time when someone's pot sexual or bisexual or whatever, they end up being just gay eventually. Nah, because I want kids. I want a legacy. So I'm going to marry a, uh, a Chinese woman named Mei Ling. And we're going to have some blazing babies. And I'm going to live in the mansion. Yeah. No funny shit. It's just like, I don't see the gay shit really latching on. Because I still haven't really been in a real gay relationship. Like, after like a couple months, I'm like... But how this many niggas need to you get the fuck out my face, bro? Uh, what you mean, like sexually or like relationship wise? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I I've gotten a lot of hate. Like I like it, and my dick sucks, so I I can't give you an honest answer. Like bodies, I could probably count on two hands. Like females and um and bitches, but head shorty, I've been lost count. Like at thirteen, I started getting head like in school, like straight up, like at recess. Nah, at from on um, like bitches, like straight up at recess, they would be like your eyes, and I would be like yeah, and then we would move like behind the jungle gym and shit. How many niggas and you let suck your like, dick? Let me see, and I would pull pull my dick out. I don't, I don't know, y'all. Like, if I had to give you a rough estimate, probably like 10, 9. Like, I really like folk, folk fuck some people. But it's like, I ain't really feel too bad because it was like they had girlfriends, they had shorties, they had lives to go back to. So it's like, we just did what we did for the moment. You be having girlfriends too? You be going around getting your dicks up? No, nah, I be single. I be single. I don't do all that. Like when I'm committed, I'm committed with one they person. Said, I'm loyal. They said a trade. Did a trade steal but your phone? I don't got nothing to do with that. Nah, that was a. Uh, so that you was didn't a go with a gay person to get your dicks up and they stole your phone? No. Nah, I was fucking no. We was doing some fucking shit, and yo, kind of snuck my phone right under my nose and shit. When I looked up, yo, was in the car. Who stole it? It was somebody that we know? Nah, you wouldn't know him. Okay. Leah, you were so cute. You know that? Thank Your you. baby gonna be cute as shit. Your baby's gonna be cute, too. I think I... 
I think I want to do a polygon. So, Leah, after you get done cooking that baby, you ready to cook mine at, after no. like five years and like you're five cute years. though. You're real cute, but it's just it's the it's the pot wow. sexual for me. Wow. But I haven't I haven't done nothing. I'm still technically bisexual. So you ain't never po- poked nobody in their butt or had your butt poked. I have poked so much, but I'm not getting my butt poked. No, I do the oh, bending. So, you, so, so you do the bending. Is that right? You, you do the bending. <laughs> Wait, <bro. laughs> that's what that's that's what you're telling me. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie. I can't walk. You that. did. You said so I do the bending. Nah, but for real, Leah. For real, Leah, I want I want to have some pretty ass dark skinned babies, and they'll have pretty eyes. How do yo. you marry a woman and then lay with a man? <laughs> you don't remember the, the movie? What? People do that every day. You never watch the nah, Girls? What's that? I I remember uh, Janet Jackson. Okay, I'm gonna explain what happened. But no, in the movie, fuck, it's not a game like movie, watching that gay movie, shit. She had a husband, right? And she was a wealthy woman. Her husband was fine as fuck, but he would go mm-hmm. get his dick sucked. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes when they'd be out, he'll be staring at the other niggas when they out. Mm-hmm. So eventually, you know, it all came out. She went and got tested and she had a super pack and it wasn't going away. So she would front him and she like asked <gasps> him like, you know, and that's what she was like. So you do the bending. <laughs> so you do the bending. Ah, uh-huh, that is lame. Wow. See, see, they just be, they just be scarring black people with these movies. That was lame. Why would you? <laughs> share it's called for color girls. That movie was actually really good. <laughs> Not cause, cause Leah, how would you feel if I your man was doing gay shit on the left, right under your nose? For real. But Leah, because unpack just- that. Why? Wow. Niggas you know, gonna do niggas what they gonna want, do whatever but I, they I want. rather somebody be honest with their sexuality. One and two, I don't really want that for myself. I kind of want somebody that's not even kind. I want somebody that just wants vagina, and they they exist out there. But I feel like it's like we're getting to the point where more men are bisexual, I guess, so more women are accepting of it. But I don't want that. I don't want that for myself. And then like, right. when you think about the fact that black women have the highest rates of house in Virginia, and you already know where they're getting it from. You get what I'm trying to say? They're getting it from black men. But it's like no shade, no shade. I'm, I'm. Go ahead, Leah. I'm, I'm yeah, only they're getting it from black up. men or whatever. So if, I, if it's something that I can try to avoid, I know that men gonna lie. Men gonna do what they want to mm-hmm. do. But I prefer someone who is openly straight. Mm-hmm. And I, I can, I can definitely understand and I respect your preference. But world talk, I feel like at the end of the day. It's, we in a world where n- nobody's really telling the complete honest truth. So at the end of the day, nobody's any, completely anything. And especially like a man and we talking about a black man at that. So we already get restrictions and boundaries put on us just from being born black and being born a black man in America and shit. So like real talk, the boundaries are p- completely getting ripped off. Cause niggas been been doing this shit since the dawn before time. Since there were books, so it was been gay shit. The gay shit been around for eons. But yeah, but I feel like, like it eons, wasn't the point literally. where it says accepted as like it is now. Transform- like. Like the transform. I feel like I feel like that's 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 all about the culture and the time. No funny shit. Back in the motherfucking um 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 what was it the love era fifties or. 80s or whatever, whatever area that was, when it was ha- at Studio 54, it was old ass bitches. Everybody was doing coke, just yeah. having fu- but fun. I feel fucking. Like just everybody was fucking everybody. Mean, and I feel like so it was all a matter of It's one of the things time. that I feel like just because a lot of people do it doesn't mean like it's okay. I feel like it's unnatural. Because I feel like that's not what a booty hole is made mm-hmm. for. And that's whether you're male or female. It's like. unnatural. But it's unnatural for. But listen, it's unnatural for you because you don't feel that way. See, I don't see it like that. It's natural to me because I think about it like, damn, bitches in the niggas got G spots in their ass. So that means that they ass, that means that that ass can get pleasured. 
I and mean, I want to like, that ass because that shit feel like good. That was a test by I God like pussy. I like ass on my ass. Because just imagine, God put something in your ass and then told you, and then put in the Bible. Wait, what? He put something in your ass and then put in the Bible. I know you don't but see, I don't want look. nothing up my booty. He, he, so he, he I, put I don't, something in your ass to see way. how strong he was in your faith. Look, listen. He put it in your ass and then he put it in the Bible that he don't want you to get fucked in your ass. Because it's abomination. Mm. But your G-spot in there. I feel like it's a test, in my personal opinion. And then on top of that, when you think about um, the, the, the disease, not even just STDs. Like, um, you can get a whole bunch of different diseases in your bum hole. And on top of that, that's not even what it's made for. Like, when people be talking about booty holes getting wet, like, realistically, your booty hole's not getting wet. That's a defense mechanism because when you're getting fucked in your ass, it creates a whole bunch of micro tears. And mucus has to come out to coat those tears. I'm, look, I'm not going to do... Look, I'm just saying. It's meant for things to go out. It's not no shame. I'm just saying. It's just not natural. I, I don't care if you're gay or not. I don't care they if you're fucking ass or not. You. I'm just saying it's just something... The act of getting fucked in your ass is something that's just not natural. I don't care if it's immoral or not. I'm just saying it's just not a natural act. That's not what it was made for. Right. I feel like you got that whole, use that whole boo, and use it to the full extent. You want to fuck, get fuck somebody in their mouth, fuck them in their mouth. You want to fuck that pussy, fuck that right. pussy. You want to fuck that 